Hey barbecue family, Kenyatta Robinson here. Welcome back to my backyard Smokemaster barbecue channel. A couple of days ago, I put out a video all about my replacement Summit Kamado grill from Weber. They have successfully repaired, solved the issue of the wobbly stand. So I wanted to do a, a video demonstrating that the stand is indeed improved. And then I also did like another kind of a walkthrough overview of the grill itself. Many of you noticed, and, and I did too actually as I was recording the video, that there were a couple of other issues with regard to the grill completely unrelated to the stand. One issue that I did mention had to do with the positioning of the ash catcher. So the ash catcher, and it's, it's on correctly now. Actually, it was always on correctly, but when it was sitting in the stand, initially when I received it from the Weber Northern California representative that assembled the grill, the, uh, these levers right here, these levers were actually facing the left side of the grill. And I noticed that and I considered it, you know, kind of a nitpick, not really a big deal. And then others of you noticed that the fan port was actually facing the front of the grill. So the fan port is supposed to be on the right side. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, there it is right there. So basically, thanks to you guys and your eagle eye paying attention to all of these details, uh, in the comments, someone mentioned to me that this is an easy fix. So it's not that that the grill itself was somehow not assembled correctly. It's just that when it was placed in the stand, um, it was just maybe not positioned in the stand correctly. And I'm talking about the lower bowl portion of the grill. So obviously this part, the upper bowl was fine, but the lower bowl is actually not attached to the stand itself. So the lower bowl, you can actually lift it up. And this is what someone suggested that I do. You can, you know, lift it up slightly and rotate it. The uh, lower bowl actually just sits on, you know, it's just sitting inside of the stand, you know, and you can, you can move it, you can move it around. I'm not gonna, gonna do it because I finally have it the way I, it should be, but I was able to rotate the bowl so that this portion where the ash catcher was force, facing the left, shifted it over. Now it faces uh, front forward. It's forward facing the way it should be. So that was an easy fix. Nothing to do with, you know, Weber and how they put it together or anything. Um, just something that I guess the, the folks that assembled my grill, maybe they didn't really pay attention to uh, as they brought it out to, to be delivered to me. So next I want to talk about the, the bigger issue, one that I actually decided to contact Weber about. And I did, you know, I have to admit it, guys. I noticed this while I was shooting that, uh, that last video. But like I said in the comments, I almost didn't want to speak it into existence. So if we look closely right here, someone called this a like a paint bubble. I didn't know what to call it, but I did notice that it is, you know, definitely different 
from the rest of the finish inside of the lower bowl. You know, it's a little bit raised. And it, you know, it, it curves all, it, you know, it goes all the way around here. So I didn't really know what to make of this, guys, whether or not this is a serious issue, if it's just cosmetic, you know, could it cause me problems down the road? So I did reach out to the uh, same VP that arranged the replacement grill for me, um, you know, just to get his thoughts and to make him aware of it. So I sent him an email on a Saturday evening. I actually shot video similar to what I just showed you guys and I attached that as a, I attached a clip of that video and sent that to him. And he did respond uh, the very next morning, Sunday morning. And I'll read you guys what he wrote. He said, good morning, Kenyatta. I am glad you finally received the assembled grill. I did review video of the bowl. What you see is an area of enamel powder buildup. It is in no way a functional or reliability risk. It is simply a thick area of enamel or a visual defect, not a functional defect. You can cook on this with confidence. That being said, this should never have left our factory. I will ship you a replacement bowl one that has been inspected to ensure proper enamel application. We can either have the original bowl returned, we'll include a return shipping label with the new part, or you can keep the original bowl as a spare. Please let me know if you have any questions on this, Kenyatta, and I look forward to seeing some food pictures of your new Kamado. All right, so there it is, guys. So I do, again, appreciate the immediate feedback that I got from Weber. Um, what they are proposing is acceptable to me. I think that's going to work. I highly recommend this, this grill, but I would like to see Weber you know, kind of tighten up on the quality a little bit. All right, guys, so thanks again for watching. And, and I really want to thank you guys uh, for the feedback response to the last video I put out where so many of you, you know, were making comments about these issues, especially the, the paint issue, because it did help. You know, I don't want to be that guy that's constantly having to reach out to the company and, you know, complain about this issue or, or that issue. I don't want to seem like I'm, you know, being nitpicky but enough of you did comment you know to help me realize that yeah this is something that you know i need to get resolved you know otherwise i'm going to be thinking about it constantly and really not enjoying my experience with the grill which i do love so i, I appreciate the feedback you guys provided validated my initial thoughts helped me to take action and get this corrected as quickly as possible so thank you please continue to watch like subscribe leave me comments and feedback um, i really do try to respond to everyone so it does mean a lot to me and it, it helps the channel and helps galvanize me as well all right guys this is Kenyatta. Thanks again. Take care. See you in the next one. And the next one will be cooking. <laughs>